Hello everyone, I am forecaster Andrea Brooks of USA Severe Weather Network and I am here to teach you a little bit about what winter storms are, particularly what our Miller A and Miller B systems are and how they are completely different in nature and how easy and how hard it is to forecast. And these questions have been brought up a few times throughout the um, last few years by a lot of aspiring meteorologists and I'm here to explain some of the differences of what you know these systems are and how they form and what they can result in. So our headlines again I'll be explaining to you what a Miller A system is and how all those um, how that those type of systems come together and form into something and then I may explain to you what a Miller B is on how they form and what they can bring and also on both of these on how easy or hard it is to forecast these type of systems. So a Miller A system is a pretty easy forecastable um, system. These systems start in the Gulf of Mexico they kind of act like a tropical cyclone, but they're not a tropical cyclone in nature. They're mainly upper level lows that develop in the Gulf of Mexico. And then they ride along the Gulf of Mexico coast and they go northeast. Along with that, cold air from the trough that, that is um, followed by this strong cold front that comes through. And these, system, these um, two forces combine to make a nor'easter. And that's how you get these winter storms, epic winter storms in northeast. And sometimes you will get these systems become um, strong Atlantic lows as well, depending on the position of the jet stream and everything as well. So those are something you have to consider as well. But overall, the preciseness of these type of systems are a lot greater than what its other counterpart is as well. And like I said, these systems are very easy to forecast. So whenever you see a meteorologist or a forecaster talk about a low developing in the Gulf of Mexico and tracking northeast to potentially become a nor'easter, these are known as Miller A's and they're a lot easier to forecast. And the preciseness of this is very easy. Now, Miller B's are a little bit more to explain and a lot more complex. Miller B systems are very hard to forecast and this winter has been a prime example of it. We have seen more Miller B systems this year than Miller A systems because a lot of the systems have formed this way due to the La Nina pattern as well and also some other dynamics such as the negative NAO, the positive PNA, and the negative AO. And the way these systems work is similar to what the Miller A um, systems form you have a cold front that comes through a very strong cold front and then you have a trough that's in the east as well and it can go further south or further north depending on how the trough sets up along with the ridge in the in the west and then you will have a low pressure system right along the subtropical jet stream these are usually your source for moisture and and pretty much if any severe weather forms with these systems as well this is where the source will come from and these will ride along the subtropical jet stream during these times and then along with that there is a clipper system that comes from the north in Canada these systems ride along the main jet stream and they will track across the country and they will combine as one and to form a big nor'easter and, and or Atlantic low as well. And again, due to two low pressure centers, it is very hard to forecast on where exactly that center of low pressure will exactly um, form. Sometimes you'll have the system form like right here. Sometimes you'll have them form right there. Sometimes you even have them form up here depending on where all of these 
factors come together as well. So that's something you have to take in consideration when looking at forecasts because again we're trying our best on forecasting Miller B's and Miller B systems are very very hard and that's what we've been seeing most of this winter. Miller A systems we've been seeing less of this year due to the way the nature of the pattern has been. It's been more Miller B's so bear in mind when we forecast these type of systems they are very difficult at times and we're trying our best to give them better information on our part and if you have any more questions as far as these systems go go to weather.gov for more official information on what these systems are and what kind of weather impacts that they can bring as well and with that being said i'm forecaster andre brooks the usa severe weather network Continue to like and subscribe to my channel, Andre Brooks, and continue to like and share our weather page, USA Severe Weather Network. Everyone have a great day. God bless you.